I've just become a parent and I'm absolutely terrified because, as you can probably tell, I can barely look after myself, let alone a baby. <laughs> Being a parent is truly terrifying. It's like having a Tamagotchi that if you forget about it for a few hours, you go to jail. <laughs> so, I thought I would start early. I went online and I bought some children's books and it turns out some of them were written by people who should have their kids taken away. <laughs> Round, I'm going to show you genuine children's book covers with parts of the title blanked out. All you need to do is fill in the blanks correctly and I'll give you one point for every one you get right. And here is the first one. Blank, blank for babies. What two words are missing from this children's book title? Richard, what kind of books were you reading as a child? I was mainly in, in Latin um, <laughs> initially, <laughs> so, you know... Yeah. Virgil, the classics. <laughs> so, Joel, what have you gone for? I've gone for a book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if there's any point continuing. Um, <laughs> Janine, what did you get? I, I went for um, driving boats for babies. <laughs> <laughs> I had originally said cars, but really? I thought, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Richard. Immigration control. <laughs> um, well, unfortunately for all of you, the correct answer is obviously quantum physics for babies. <laughs> and I mean, it makes sense they'd be into it. They've just come out of an ever expanding hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Time for number two. <laughs> This one. Is it Harpo's bad habit? Okay. <laughs> Is it Harpo's horrible secret? <laughs> or is it Harpo's fishing tip? Okay. <laughs> yes, Richard? I wrote my answer down before I saw the options. Okay, well then it's gonna be amazing if you get it right. Okay. Um, <laughs> Joel, what have you got? I've gone for fishing tip. A whole book for one tip. Yeah, you open it and then it just says... Don't go fishing with this guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Janine, what did you get? I wrote Horrible Secret uh, because it's the worst one. <laughs> Richard? As I say, I didn't have the options before I wrote, so I put either inappropriate uncle or <laughs> post-prison visit. <laughs> So, the correct answer is... Harpo's Horrible Secret! <laughs> A point for Janine! <laughs> One more book for best behaviour. Scouts in what? I'm just looking for one missing word here. What are we thinking? Hell? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting guess. Janine, you got a guess? Self-discovery. Oh, lovely. I like that one, Joel. <laughs> Brownies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Richard. A river of blood. <laughs> I'll give you some more options. Okay. Is it scouts in swimwear? <laughs> Is it scouts in pleasure land? <laughs> Is it Scouts in bondage. <laughs> Write down your answers, everybody. It's one of these three. OK. Joel? I've gone for got? swimwear. Just because it felt like it was the most innocent. After I said that brownies thing, I felt really bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good for you, yes. I felt really bad. I'm trying to sort of just yeah. scramble back onto primetime ITV. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like having your cake and eating it. <laughs> What have you got? OK, I've picked the worst one. Yep. Bondage, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and Richard. I thought it could be like a Somerset mom of human bondage, use of bondage, so yes. I, I went for bondage. Do you want to know the correct answer? Yeah. <laughs> the correct answer is... bondage! <laughs> <laughs> that is the point for Janine and Richard! None for Joel.
I feel wrong taking a point for that, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I thought we could play a game from a children's book I've recently discovered. It's a 1940s classic called Let's Play Indoors. It's a gold mine of games to keep kids amused on a rainy day, including my particular favourite, Poor Pussy. <laughs> This is a genuine game, and to play it, we're going to need a pussy. <laughs> so, please welcome the biggest pussy I know, my partner in marriage and one-day divorce, Bobby Mayer! <laughs> Can I just say, she told me I was going to get to be on a show with Richard Iowate. <laughs> well, it's true, isn't it? OK. I'm sort of here. <laughs> so, these are the rules taken straight from the book. Poor pussy kneels in front of each player and meows three times. <laughs> the player must stroke his head, saying, poor pussy. <laughs> Three times without smiling. <laughs> if any of you get through it without smiling, I will give you two points. Do you want to give me the points now? Yes. <laughs> well, everybody, get ready. Here comes the pussy. <laughs> I just say I saw you on the street once and I wanted to introduce myself and I thought it would be really awkward, so I didn't. And now this is how I'm meeting you. Yeah. I think this is less awkward than it would have been. <laughs> how long does this ordeal last for? <laughs> grief. Richard, remember, you have to stroke his head and you have to say uh, poor, poor pussy, pussy. Poor pussy, no, poor no, pussy. Richard, no, you say poor pussy and then he meows and then you say poor pussy and then he meows and then you say poor pussy and then he meows. Don't no, look no, at that, no, listen no, to me. No. no, Richard, you have to respect my rules. Look, unless you're going to take it seriously. <laughs> I'm not Richard, no, 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 no. I'm on this show. Neil, Neil, three times. I've meows. got my husband I'm dressed up as a cat. I'm waiting for three Richard, meows. Richard, follow the rules. <laughs> Th give me three meows and then I'll stroke you. No, no, one, on no. <laughs> one meow and then you stroke. No oh. one cares anymore. <laughs> That's why we've got anarchy. No one cares. We've got no rules. Richard, why are we shouting at each other? This game's a free-for-all. <laughs> How is this worse than my round? <laughs> Richard, yes. stroke his head and call him a pussy. I have done that. <laughs> Poor pussy. Meow. <laughs> 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 Poor pussy. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Poor pussy. <laughs> I have a law degree. And my parents said, get a law degree, it'll be worth it. And you were wrong. Well, Richard, it seems like you know how to handle the pussy. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Janine, your turn. Yeah. <laughs> Poor pussy. That's a smile! That's a smile, That's a smile Janine! <laughs> Over. <laughs> it's just like being on Mars Singer. <laughs> Joel, you're smiling with your eyes. <laughs> just imagine your wife got you to dress up like a fucking cat. <laughs> <laughs> Not until I say it. <laughs> you touch me after I say the word. <laughs> <laughs> You've got this, Joe. Come on. Can I sit on your lap like a cat would? Yes. <laughs> Bobby, I've never been more sexually attracted to you. <laughs> Poor pussy. 